Well, it might be hard to believe it right now, but we are already talking about the Grand Rapids Ballet returning to the stage with another performance of the Nutcracker. Yeah, would not be the holiday season without it. Watching the annual performance is really a, a hugely popular tradition for so many families in West Michigan. Our Lauren Coomer is live at DeVos Place this morning, getting a sneak peek of what we can expect. Lauren? Hey, good morning to you both. It's ex an exciting time here in Grand Rapids, the holiday season. People look forward to coming down to DeVos Performance Hall to see the Nutcracker. And while they get to see two weekends of the performance, a lot more goes into that preparation to get it ready for the audience to see. So we are joined by one of the characters performing. Morgan, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. And so you're playing young Clara, the one of the main characters in this performance. Talk about that and what your role is in this play. When I first figured out, I was so excited. Um, Clara is just kind of one of the parts that is just more about acting than dancing. It's so exciting when I get the Nutcracker and I dance with it, and, and I go into the transition scene where this tree grows, and it's just a magical experience. And now, as young Clara, this is your first major role in the Nutcracker. You said you've been involved for three years. So talk about that and the preparation that's gone into it. There's been a lot of preparation into this. We've started rehearsing in September, and we have a lot of rehearsals each week, but it's super fun. Talk about, so you're in the junior company, um, and so you get to perform with the company dancers who are professionals in um, the ballet industry. So talk about getting to experience that and working with them on this performance. It's so inspiring to me because I want to be like them when I'm older, and I've always looked up to them. And I learned so much from them when they teach me and how to bring my own art artistry into my dancing. And it just makes dancing so much more fun when they're there. What's been the most difficult part so far in preparing for this role? Um, definitely just trying to remember different things, like a lot of corrections that I get. But I feel like I'm ready to be on stage, and it's not so difficult anymore. And you said you've been dancing since you were three, so I'm sure there's going to be a lot of kids coming out here who get to see this performance. Any advice or anything you want people to know who maybe are inspired by what they see on stage? I feel like if you feel like you want to be a dancer, it's definitely worth it. I love dancing, and just being able to be able on this stage in front of this huge audience is so worth it. And there's over 100 cast members, so getting to make friends with a lot of people that are from around Michigan, that's really exciting, too. Um, anything you want people to know as they get ready to come out to the show? Um, definitely come to the Nutcracker because, for me, it's such a magical experience, and it always has been a tradition for the holidays. It definitely gets me in the holiday spirit. Perfect. Yeah, me too. I'm excited. Just seeing the stage up here, um, and you guys are starting to rehearse tonight, so that's really exciting. Yeah. It's super exciting. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much for all the great info. And if people want to come out and see you, when can they come and see your performances? Um, December 15 and 17. All right. all right, Morgan, thank you so much. We appreciate it. And those tickets are still available, available for the two weekends of the Nutcracker performing. It starts this Friday. Uh, the first show is 730, and there's four performances this weekend, four performances next weekend. You can get tickets both at the box office or online. We'll have all the info up on our website, fox17online.com. Reporting in Grand Rapids, I'm Lauren Coomer. Back to you.